hey welcome back to the channel i hope everyone is doing well today so welcome to a new swift ui tutorial today we will take a look at observable objects and published property wrappers learn what they are used for and how to use them to create a simple swift ui stopwatch app okay understanding this property wrappers is especially important for creating functional models for your swift ui apps that you can use to communicate with your views okay so this is basically what our app will look like at the end of the tutorial okay okay so first of all fire up xcode and create a new xcode project select single view app okay and make sure that you select swift ui as the user interface here okay so i'm going to call it stop watch demo en for instance okay then save it on your mac so we start by creating the interface for our stopwatch app for this we can use the default content view.swift file okay first replace the string of the hello world text with a placeholder for the elapsed seconds okay so here you can simply write 0, 0 okay we also use a custom font and make sure there is enough space around the text by using appropriate paddings okay so here you can then write dot font okay just like that dot custom here you're going to call the avenir font the size will be 60 okay first padding will be for the top so top it's gonna be 200 okay then for the bottom side padding it's gonna be 100 okay then for the tra trailing side okay the right side so it's gonna be trailing here you can write 100 and here for the left side leading with a value of 100 perfect okay so below the text view we will use buttons to start pause and stop the stopwatch wrap the text view into a vstack okay by pressing command on your keyboard and add a corresponding button so here you can select embed in vstack and then call a button just like that okay here you can press curly brackets okay and write print start timer okay just like that here we don't need any label so you can cut it and open curly brackets and into right start okay just like that foreground color will be black okay here padding will be vertical with the value of 20 then padding horizontal with the value of 90 then background color will be color dot yellow okay and finally corner radius with the value of 10 perfect okay so later we will use this button design for the pause and stop buttons as well so each with different text and color to make it reusable command click on the text view of our button here and select extract subview okay we can call the extracted subview timer button and press enter okay cool as already mentioned the text and the color of the button should be changeable okay therefore we use dynamic properties in our timer button structure instead of fixed values which we then initialize from our 
content view okay so change the timer button structure as follows so here you can write let label to be type of string okay then let button color to be type of color and finally we can also add let text color to be type of color okay perfect then we can replace simply these values here so here for instance this one here and this one here perfect okay now we have to initialize the parameters in our content view accordingly so here you can press fix okay and you can write start okay here uh, the button color will be uh, yellow and the text color will be black cool so finally we push the views inside our v stack upwards by inserting a spacer so here you can write spacer just like that okay uh, so much for the preparations for the ui of our stop watch app your swift ui preview for your stopwatch app should now look like this okay okay perfect just like that okay for our swift ui stopwatch app we need an instance that notifies our content view every unit time okay after we start the timer and adjust the text view accordingly okay this functionality is idly placed in a separate class therefore we create a new swift file okay you can press command n on your keyboard and select swift file okay which we will call stop watch manager okay in this file we import the swift ui framework okay so here import swift ui okay framework and create a new class which we also call stop watch manager okay so here stop watch manager okay open curly brackets our stop watch manager needs a variable with which we keep track of how much time has passed since the timer was started this variable will be called seconds elapsed okay we also initialize a swift timer instance so here var seconds elapsed is equal to zero at the beginning okay var timer is equal to timer a timer object okay we also create a function that starts the timer which adds the value 0.1 to our seconds elapsed every 0.1 seconds okay so here func start okay so timer is equal to timer dot schedule timer okay this one so here 0, 0 0.1 here true and here uh, you can simply cut that and rather open curly brackets and here you can write timer in okay and here self dot seconds elapsed plus equal 0 0.1 okay we can now initialize the stopwatch manager in our content view and access the respective value of the seconds elapsed property for the text view we also want to trigger the start function when we tap the corresponding button okay so here you can add var stopwatch manager okay is equal to stop watch manager just like that and here you can write string format this one okay here you can write uh, modulo1.f 
here you can write stop watch manager dot seconds elapsed and here you can write self dot stop watch manager dot start just like that perfect so now launch the app okay in the live preview and tap the start button okay you will see that the preview doesn't change this is because although the timer in our stopwatch manager starts to add 0.1 to the seconds elapsed property every tenth of a second our content view is not being notified about these changes and therefore doesn't show the continuously update values okay so however we can easily implement this functionality to do this we use the so-called observable object protocol here okay so here you can write observable object okay then we want our content view to observe our stopwatch manager to listen the changes in it to do this we use the observed object here observed object property wrapper in front of the initialization of the stopwatch manager property okay okay our content view is now able to listen and to react to changes in the stopwatch manager instance but how do we specifically notify and tell the content view to re-render every time the value assigned to the seconds elapse property changes while well, that's quite easy just place the published property wrapper in front of it so here this property wrapper tells all observing views including our content view to reload themselves whenever the value assigned to seconds elapsed changes okay let's rerun the preview of our content view in live mode and check if that works okay so here press live button okay let me check on the simulator because it looks like it doesn't work on the content view preview okay sorry sorry here it's modulo dot one f okay and now if i launch the simulator we should see the good result okay perfect how some app after you tap the start button the timer in our stopwatch manager every 0.1 seconds adds 0.1 seconds to our seconds elapsed variable and since it's a published variable and our content view observes the stopwatch manager observable object our content view will re-render every 0.1 seconds as well with always showing exactly how many seconds have already elapsed okay okay we now know how observable object and published property wrappers work and have used this knowledge to implement our basic timer in swift ui let's finish our swift ui stopwatch app by implementing the possibility to pause and stop the timer first we add a corresponding enum under our stopwatch manager class okay here Top watch mode it's like that okay so that later on we always know if our stopwatch is currently running paused or stopped so case running then case stopped then case paused okay next we add another published property to our stopwatch manager so that every time our timer is started paused or stopped our content view can react and adapt accordingly okay so here okay when our timer starts we set the mode to running so here mode is equal to running okay 
Next, we add two more functions that pause and reset the timer and change the mode accordingly. So, func pause, open curly brackets. So here, timer dot invalidate, okay, and mode is equal to posed and then func stop timer dot invalidate seconds elapsed is equal to zero and here mode is equal to stopped okay great our stopwatch manager can now also pause and stop the timer and furthermore our content view always knows whether the timer is running paused or stopped through the published mode property okay so depending on the mode we want to show different buttons in our content view so if the timer mode is currently stopped we want to show the start button okay so here you can simply cut that and rather write if stopwatch manager dot mode is equal to stopped then you can show that okay on the other hand if the timer is running we want to display a button that poses the timer so we we write if stop watch manager dot mode is equal to running then you can simply copy paste that and write rather here pose okay and here you can write pose okay and when the timer is eventually paused we want to show two buttons okay one to resume the timer and one to stop it okay so here we can write if stop watch manager dot mode is equal to posed then you can copy paste this one here another time and here you can write stop okay and here red and here white okay perfect so if we now run our app we can start pause and stop our stopwatch so let me rerun the app okay if i press on pause i have both button but let me put some paddings here top okay perfect okay so that's it we learned how to communicate between models and views and swift ui by using observable objects and published modifiers and use that knowledge to create a simple stopwatch app in SwiftUI. Okay, so that's all for today's guys. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Give the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I see you in the next lesson, guys. Take care. Bye bye.